That's a really good question. So few things you need to do in order to manage that fear or those voices in your head. First things first, I would not face read. Don't read faces. Because if you start to read faces, then you can misread. Because a lot of process people, when they process, almost have a bitch face, right? Or they look bored, or they can even look angry when they're processing. So what you need to do is really trust as, that your energy, as long as it's uplifting, as long as your intention behind it, that it's being received that way. Don't read into folded arms and things like that. Because again, when I listen in, I fold arms. I'm not closing off. So when I used to do stage work, I used to have my arms folded. And I still, obviously, when I am on stage. And some people are like, but isn't folding your arms closing off? I'm like, no, I'm tuning in. That's how I do it. So first things first, I would avoid reading in the sense face or body language. What you can detect the more you do this and the more you speak is you can detect energy. You can detect the, when the energy shifted in the room and you can detect that. You will learn the more you speak to read the room. Now, you'll know as you evolve when the energy is angry or frustrated or tired you'll learn to do that, which is when you'll learn, okay, get up, everyone get up, find someone to speak to, let's have a quick chat, or everyone get up and stretch, and you'll learn how to do that the more you do it. But for you to manage what's going on in your head is to A, trust you're doing your best work, B, trust that it's empowering and impacting, because people want to hear you speak, that's why they're there. No one's handcuffing them to the table or to the chair or, right? They're there because they want to hear what you have to say. So even if you're speaking in another community or you're speaking on someone else's stage, you've been invited because of what you have to say. So the people have shown up, the majority of them want to hear what you have to say. And that's really the energy behind your words, the energy behind your delivery. And when you go there in your mind, that's what you need to remind yourself.